Hello everyone, today we want to talk about top 10 Demi Moore movies. Number 10, Disclosure, 1994. Director, Barry Levinson. Actors, Michael Douglas, Donald Sutherland, Caroline Goodall. A computer specialist is sued for sexual harassment by a former lover turned boss who initiate the act forcefully, which threatens both his career and his personal life. Great movie really all tech, but the cast was great, especially Demi Moore and Michael Douglas. Disclosure is an excellent film that is sure to keep you on the edge of your seat and blow you away. IMDb 6.1, Metascore 58, Rotten Tomatoes 50. Get back here when you finish what you started or you're dead. Do you hear me? You are dead! Number 9. The Joneses, 2009. Director, Derek Bort. Actors, Amber Heard, David Duchovny, Benjamin Hollingsworth. A seemingly perfect family moves into a suburban neighborhood, but when it comes to the truth as to why they are living there, they don't exactly come clean with their neighbors. Demi Moore and David Duchovny have this chemistry that shines through. Amber Heard is excellent also as well as Ben portraying the kids in the Joneses family. The film is superb and truly entertaining and thought provoking. And Demi Moore is awesome. IMDb 6.4, Metascore 55, Rotten Tomatoes 55. I know who you are. Number 8. G.I. Jane, 1997. Director Ridley Scott. Actors Viggo Mortensen, Anne Bancroft, James Caviezel. A female senator succeeds in enrolling a woman into combined reconnaissance team training where everyone expects her to fail. This movie was really great. I loved every bit of it. The cinematic, the cinematic shots were insane. The protagonist was so bold and strong. Apart from Demi's incredible physical performance and memorable roles by Anna Bancroft and Viggo Mortensen, this is a perfect blockbuster. IMDb 6, Metascore 62, Rotten Tomatoes 52. You were given the Navy Cross, right? Can I ask what you got it for? Number 7. Flawless, 2007. Director Michael Rothford. Actors Michael Caine, Lambert Wilson, Nathaniel Parker. In 1960s London, an elderly janitor convinces a glass ceiling constrained executive to help him steal a handful of diamonds from their employer, the London Diamond Corporation. Everything works in this movie. The direction, the acting, the shooting, the story, and the script. This is a very well told original, original story. The characters are interesting and complex. IMDb 6.7, Metascore 57, Rotten Tomatoes 55. You stupid old man, wake up! Don't you understand? The only life for us is one behind bars. Number 6, Bobby, 2006. Director Emilio Estevez. Actors Anthony Hopkins, Sharon Stone, Heather Graham. The story of the assassination of, of US Senator Robert F. Kennedy who was shot in the early morning hours of June 5, 1968 in the Ambassador Hotel in Los Angeles, California. And 22 people in the hotel whose lives were never the same. This movie is spectacular. It features an all-star cast, wonderful directing, and a score that will haunt you. As if that wasn't enough, the editing was incredible. IMDb 7, Metascore 54, Rotten Tomatoes 60. You know the only thing that I get nervous about is whether anybody's going to show up or not. Number 5, About Last Night, 1986. Director, Edward Zwick. Actors, Rob Lowe. Jim Belushi, Elizabeth Perkins. A man and woman meet and try to have a romantic affair despite their personal problems 
and the interference of their disapproving friends. To top it off, the four main characters, Lowe, Moore, Perkins, and Blushy, did their finest work and arguably their greatest roles. If you are looking for a real life situation movie that you would enjoy, I would suggest you this. It has everything. It will make you think, cry, and laugh in two hours. IMDb 6.2, Metascore 70, Rotten Tomatoes 60. Anything happen? No, absolutely nothing. Wanna do it again? Number four, Mr. Brooks. 2007 director Bruce A. Evans actors Kevin Costner William Hart Dane Cook a well-respected businessman is sometimes controlled by his murder and mayhem loving alter ego a great movie suspenseful and wonderfully acted especially by Costner who underlays his character masterfully this is unexpectedly good enjoyed it immensely the internal dialogue is particularly well done. IMDb 7.3, Metascore 45, Rotten Tomatoes 66. Just need to get this done as soon as possible. That's what Jesse's counting on. Number 3, Margin Call, 2011. Director J.C. Chander. Actors Zachary Quinto, Stanley Tucci, Kevin Spacey follows the key people at an investment bank over a 24-hour period during the early stages of the 2008 financial crisis. Not only is the cast of the movie great, but most of the performances are also very well done. Despite very little direct character building, you can just see where everyone comes from. IMDb 7.1, Metascore 76, Rotten Tomatoes 81. It's very simple. Because if we're going down. Number two, A Few Good Men, 1992. Director Rob Rainer. Actors Tom Cruise, Jack Nicholson, Kevin Bacon. Military lawyer Lieutenant Daniel Caffey defends Marines accused of murder. They contend they were acting under orders. The final courtroom scene between Tom Cruise and Jack Nicholson is electrifying. Without a single kiss, the chemistry between Cruise and Moore is simply delicious. All characters are well developed. IMDb 7.7, .7, Metascore 62, Rotten Tomatoes 86. Before we talk about number one, please subscribe our channel. Thank you so much. Number one, Ghost. 1990. Director Jerry Zucker. Actors Patrick Swayze, Whoopi Goldberg, Tony Goldwyn. After a young man is murdered, his spirit stays behind to warn his lover of impending danger with the help of a reluctant psychic. Perfect directed, rich in emotions and situations. Absolutely lovely Whoopi Goldberg is hilarious. Demi Moore is a sweetheart and Patrick Swayze is perfectly good. A touching film that nobody will forget. A film you need to see to appreciate the people you love. IMDb 7.1, Metascore 52, Rotten Tomatoes 78. It's like I think about you every minute. It's like I can still feel you.